Dear students, so this is our last module on Microsoft Excel and this will tell us that how we can sort and apply filter in Microsoft Excel having large number of uh, data cells as values. So in this module we will cover two things, one is known as sorting and another is filtration. So let's start the practical. So I have prepared uh, a slide for you, the same slide which we were working uh, last time uh, in the last module. So we have uh, expense heads over here and then we have the expenses that are comprising in number of months. So we have uh, very exciting features under uh, the data uh, ribbon. Those are sorting and filtering. So for example, if we are interested that we want to see that in January, uh, what was the maximum expense which we have done and towards the lowest one. So we want to sort based on this data. So I will select this. I will go into the data. I will apply sorting and I would need to expand the selection which means that it will select the maximum value from here which is 20,000 and will move this 20,000 over here and then it will also move the entire row, this row to the upside. So if I do not uh, click on expand selection, so it will just move this 20,000 uh, 20, over here and other things will, uh, the other uh, related cells, the same row will not be going upward. So let's try to do it. So in data, sort, expand the selection, yes. And we want to sort by January, the values and largest to smallest. So we have smallest to largest or so this is ascending and this is descending. So as soon as I clicked, so you can see that in January, the most expensive thing was electricity bill that cost me 20,000. Then education cost me 15,000. Car maintenance cost me 15,000. Groceries cost me 12,000. Medical 10,000. Petrol 5,000. Security 3,000. And the least one, the gas bill was 2,000. So similar kind of thing you can apply in any of those columns. So for example, if I go over here again, expand and I say, okay, no, I want to go with my smallest to largest. So in my, the uh, least expensive thing was car maintenance, which cost me 1000, gas bill 2000 and so on. So you can see other values have uh, adjusted accordingly and we can also do, for example, if I go into the sorting and I say, okay, this one, this one, this one. So I can apply uh, the sorting on first level and then I can also add another level. So for example, if I'm interested that I want to see March values from largest to smallest and then the expense in April and values from smallest to largest, right? So this means that this will use those two columns which we have specified to sort the data. And another exciting thing is the filtration. So if you go into data, filter, so you can see that with all of the headings, there is a small arrow, right? So here is a small arrow for each of the headings. So for example, if I make it a little bit bigger, so I am interested to see that what kind of values are in this March. So I can see that in March, I have such kind of things. So I want to see that, oh, I have paid 26,000 in this March. So I don't know for what. So I can just select this 26,000. First I have deselected all. Then I have selected only 26,000 and I have clicked OK. So it says that this is the 26,000 thing is electricity bill and all of other data has been uh, hidden now. So you can also see that this March, uh, the shape of this cursor has also shifted towards filter. 
so all others are just arrows and this is a filter so this means that there is some filtration applied over here so if this is a long or big uh, spreadsheet so you can just see that where the filter is applied so then you can select all so all of the data will be available instantaneously so you can apply such filter wherever you want so for example if i say okay i want to just see 2000 3000 and 4000 expense so in my so i can see that for patrol it was 4000 security bill was 3000 and gas bill was 2000 rupees so let's conclude today's module we have learned two important things one is known as sorting and another is known as filtration so whenever uh, you uh, name microsoft excel so you have basically three things in your mind the built-in functions are different kind of calculations then data filtration and then data sorting so all of those things we have covered in these modules so from the next modules we will be moving towards uh, databases more specifically microsoft access